Hi everyone, another journal to share with you today. Uh, this is another bird journal and I have it tied with a just a pretty old um, ribbon, silk ribbon, and a very old little millinery flower, probably from some little hat from long ago. This was gifted to me. I love this twa. I got this from my good friend Maria Pia on eBay. Um, she has a shop there, I'll link it below, and she has beautiful antique fabrics from, oh, centuries ago, the 1800s, uh, early 1900s. And this was a French toile that I got from her shop. And I love it so much, I just made that my cover. Used a beautiful old lace for my spine cover. Um, very pretty netted lace. Some more pretty border lace. And the back just continues the fabric with some vintage lace here. This is another old fabric, beautiful bird fabric. Some pretty, I guess they're doves, and um, some more lace. Um, a little stamp here. And the little girl I stamped on this side shines through on this side. I thought that was kind of neat. And she says, sing your heart songs. This is just a little pocket I made and uh, decoupaged. And inside is a pretty little bird trim that I got from eBay. All my pages were tea or coffee dyed. This is a French page book from a book I have, an old French book. I have no idea what it says, but it's in French and I just stamped these little lovebirds here. Lots of places to draw or journal. This is a page I got from um, a company called Character Constructions and I just love her papers. Little Wren stamp and an old, um, I don't know where that came from actually. I don't know where I got that to tell you the truth, but it's some pretty little birds. Kind of a collage, so I'm not sure where I got that one. This is a napkin that I decoupaged. There's a little nest in it. And this was some old um, shelf paper I had. Pretty blue jay feather. And a sticker down here of a blue jay. Some little tags here, a little bird tag. And it says on it, please, Plant this paper to watch flowers grow. It, it has little tiny seeds in it. I'm not sure if it would work, but you could try. A postcard, pretty little stamp design. And a little tag I made. Lots of little goodies. A little bird stamp up here. This is from uh, my old nursery rhyme book I have. It's called Little Robin Redbreast, and I found a little sticker of a robin. This is Thinking of You. It's just some old trim. Pretty heart trim there. Um, on this page, I put a little nest paper down at the bottom and I had this little uh, decorative trim of birds and I added little uh, rhinestones for their eyes and then I stenciled and added some 
uh, paint colors to that page to all blend in. This was an um, envelope that I had gotten. I don't know where I got that from or I would tell you, but it's a pretty little envelope with music on it and I added a little um, scalloped square with a stamped bird. And inside is a card with different types of bird nests. More journaling spots where you could draw, whatever. This was um, a laser cut piece of wood that I got from Etsy. There's a shop on there, I believe it's called Pork Chow. I'll have to find it and link it for you, but he makes the neatest things and um, I bought some little birds from him that he laser cut. Some more character construction papers. You can look those up. They, um, she sells these online. Another pretty little bird stamp here. This is another beautiful fabric I got from Pia Maria. Um, gorgeous red birds. French. French for sure. She sells lots of French fabrics. Just a pretty little lace in the middle here of the pages and um, pretty decorative page of birds in their nests. I love this little bird stamp. And a little poem about a friend. A little, looks like a chickadee on it. A little chickadee stamp up here. And you've seen this before in my journal, my other bird journal. That's a, um, a hand-drawn print of um, a design that someone made years ago. So pretty. And I embossed this with my cuddle bug, made a pocket. I adore old samplers and uh, I just Found one online on Pinterest and uh, printed it out. Little fabric collage I made with some um, burlap and I sewed the little tiny checked print. I think I got that from Maria Pia too. And then I feather stitched around this pretty little bird card and added a little flower and little um, swag. What do you call those things? I don't know. It says sing and a little bow. And this says the journey. The journey is the destination. Old, old, old scrap of lace. This is from an, a very uh, old dictionary that I have. And of course, somewhere on here is the word bird. Tiny little flower and a wise old owl. Another pretty uh, construction paper design and just some pretty little cards in here that you could write on. Uh, this is the chain that holds all the charms at the bottom. I have a brass bee, a brass bell, a little birdhouse, and a pretty little, it looks like a crow to me, sitting on a swing, birdcage swing. It's an old decorative paper I had. This is a newer um, fabric here. This was made by Moda, the company Moda. Love their fabrics too. And that is from an old handkerchief or tea towel that I had. I think from my grandmother actually. <laughs> this is um, it's three dimensional. I don't know what it's made out of. It's a very, very thin metal. And I just uh, added a little color to it. Added. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put a little patina 
on my fingers and rub it and then rub the rest all over the page so it all blends in. I used to teach kindergarten and one of the most wonderful activities the kids did was um, finger painting. So I guess I got it from that, from doing that. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I love this little folksy saying. It says, no wealthy monarch can a greater... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading it wrong. No, let me start over. No wealthy monarch can possess a greater store of golden hours than can be found in happiness of birds and books and flowers. Very old piece of lace here from my stash. Just a pretty paper of um, script writing, and I just tore the edges. This is a newer fabric that was stamped on, has script on it, so pretty with the roses. Little birdies. Uh, this page, I, I don't know, some pages you do and you think, how did that happen? But I don't know, maybe some of you would like it. I'm not overly fond of it, but it's okay, I guess. It's purple and lime green. Um, it was a, a napkin, and I decoupaged it on both sides and just added an old velvet flower sticker, added some glitter, um, the word bird, and painted the pages, added a stamp down there. This is a little bookmark I made with some chipboard and pretty papers and a little filigree at the top, brass filigree, a little tag and card in the embossed um, pocket. This is some cute little birdcage ribbon that I had in my stash, fit right in, and a cute little pocket. It has some goodies in there. I won't open it up, just some more little bird things. Feather, I think there's a cardinal feather in here. And a pretty little brass filigree. I added some crystals to. Looks like it's more than one page, but it isn't. I glued those two together. Um, there's a pretty, I believe that's a thrush. And just a uh, seam binding. It's been tea dyed. This fabric is. Um, one of Tasha Tudor's designs, and I got that off eBay a few years ago. Don't know if they still make it, but I just adore it. It's such a pretty, pretty fabric with her beautiful drawings of little birds, little baby birds down here, a little mouse, ow, and a little nest. Just the dearest. Just loved her. I don't know if you can see it, but on this page, I stamped a doily corner stamp that I have. And I tried to pick up the color in there. It's a little scrap of silk. And it's just a little cute little bird card. I did get this from Maria Pia. And this is an old calico from the 1800s. Absolutely adore that. Still has some of its old um, stitches in it. And on the other side is another, oh, this is a little bird clip. And it's just a card that you can write on. Beautiful decorative paper with glitter and a pretty, um, pretty bird at the bottom. And this is another very old French toit that I got from Maria Pia's shop. Please be sure to check her out. She's the nicest seller and um, has the most beautiful fabrics. And I think they're very reasonable for the age that they are. Another little wren down here. Pretty. This is some, some paper I had, I guess handmade paper. On this side, I decoupaged another napkin. Had a beautiful bluebird on it and roses. 
This is just some vintage pretty twa uh, trim. This is an old little thing. I don't know. It came from a friend of mine. She sends me things now and then. She's so sweet. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> this is actually a real bird trading card. Um, it has a spool of thread at the bottom. Oops, sorry. It was an advertising card. And on the back it had a calendar, a little calendar. It was made by the J&P J Coats uh, company. They made a lot of threads. And the calendar is actually from 1891. So this is authentic and very old. <laughs> a little nest behind it hiding there. I'd actually done this on the page before I put this clear uh, acetate pocket over top of it. I thought that kind of turned out neat. And this is just another little decorative paper with different types of bird nests on it. Pretty little old, old lace. And um, just a little twig down at the bottom. Pretty little girl with a wing. And this is also original. This is a, a little Christmas, tiny little Christmas card. This was the front. It says, may Christmas day be a joyful one. Now on the back is a little poem. I thought that was so dear, the way it was designed and the shape the little bird sticking out at the top. And this is just more decorative paper. You can flip over, you can write under it, whatever. Another little rhyme up here. And I believe that's the last page, yep. So I hope you've enjoyed my bird journal. I will list it in my Etsy shop. This one's not quite as thick as my last one that I showed, so this one will be uh, priced accordingly. But it is filled with some beautiful, beautiful things and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.